the, the visual was good, but I couldn't get the sound to work. So we're going to keep trying that another day. I'm going to flip the screen and get started right away. So let's just do that. We're going to bring this back over to my picture, my sketches from last week. And we're going to keep working on. I'll pull up the video on the um, computer so I can see you guys. Uh, yeah, one of these days I'll get a better quality of live stream going. But for now, yeah, oh, oh, now we have my echoey sound. Ah, okay, Mustafa is the first one on. Hi, Mustafa. Hi, Amber. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about that, guys. That I really am trying to get some really good quality live streams for you guys. But for some reason, see, if I push my screen, I'm trying to get it focused, but it goes in and out of focus. That's the issue with this, but that's okay. Um, we'll, we'll just do our best with it, and I'll keep trying for the OBS another day. So hi, Jennifer. Thank you guys for your patience with this. I'm just going to do one project today because I have a lot of work this week. I am going to do the witch's hat that I... Um, uh, started uh, well thought about last week and then I had another idea that might work as I want to take the idea of this belt with a buckle and make a ring out of it so if we have time we'll do those two things but first to get started I'm just going to do a witch's hat and put some beads in there and a uh, like a kind of a, a strap and the thing I've been experimenting for the strap is hi Joan uh, hi Monica from Trinidad awesome and itsy bitsy Imaginarium I love that username so here's I've been experimenting with coloring flat wires so I've done a couple of uh, attempts this is going to be for the little belt around the hat I have this acrylic ink which seems to stick quite well it's pretty good and then I tried also Sharpie, which isn't as good. I tried some other things too. Uh, so if you have some enamel paint or something that would probably good work well to stick onto the wire because I wanted to make the band on the hat a different color. So that's the plan, the plan, man. So let's go ahead and just do the hat and I'm going to fill it in with beads and do the, um, the buckle on there. So let's just cut a piece of wire and about uh, probably about 12 inches long. Doesn't have to be super long. And uh, Bernice, oh yes, Bernice. <laughs> oh gosh, Bernice, I better write that down because I never remember all these uh, usernames. So Itsy Bitsy Imaginarium, it's so cute, is Bernice. So let's remember all these. So now, yeah, so coloring the flat wire is an interesting idea. So we're going to see how we do with that. And then what I want to do is just make a very basic shape for a hat and then uh, finish it, I guess, at the top so we have some way to hang it. So what I'm going to do for that is just get my pliers and bend this up at an angle. Keep my hands uh, doing great. What about everybody else? Doing good. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here in Montreal. I'm definitely going out for a little walk after this. Uh, so let's just kind of uh, shape this around a little bit. And I don't know if I want to follow this uh, exactly. This um, I should have done a better drawing, but that's okay. So I'm just going to bring this one around here. Actually, I don't want it too, too small either. So let me just make it a little bit bigger because I want to be able to fit a decent number of beads in there. So we're going to bring this one in here around there. And then we're just going to bend it out here, around here. And because if I want to put the, I could like kind of push it down a bit and up, which might be interesting too. It just depends how much dimension you want to it. Like see for that, I could like, bend that down and then up again and around like that would work to make it more like dimensional and then that would sit down here or I could just do that which might be easier and bend it up here I don't know I kind of want to try that but maybe I'll try that just for fun you know because it doesn't matter if we make mistakes on the live stream a new plant and it smells good. Ooh, plants are nice. Yeah, plants are really fun. So let's just go ahead and try this because uh, we got nothing to lose. So what I want to do is see how big this is going to be. So about like that. And then I'll take my round pliers and bend this up. Okay, we're just going to bend this up. And then we're going to measure this. 
We're back, Clarice. Thank you so much for hopping on the first time. That was a false alarm. But I really um, want to succeed at using a different software for these live streams, just so it'll be clearer for you guys. So see what I'm doing? I've gone to the back. Let me move this. I brought it to the back, and I'm going to go across just to make it look like it has more dimensional dimensionality. And we're going to see how that's going to work. So this is going to come around and be the brim of the hat. Doesn't really super matter if that's a little crooked, but we can try to fix it up a little bit. And ba -da -ba, just getting my pliers here. And don't forget, tomorrow is the finale of Live Wires for the Win. I'm so excited we get to announce the winner of the challenge. You guys have been making such amazing, amazing things. I'm so happy. And uh, yes, so tomorrow night uh, we have a very super special guest judge and uh who's judging the fi finale and it's going to be a lot a lot of fun so uh so look out for that join us on the um on the finale of live Note wires for the win and uh we'll have a really great time so now uh 57 plants that's a lot of plants oh my goodness so now and jackie hopped on i miss there jackie yes hey jackie how you doing so this one i might adjust the width of this a little bit after but say we go here and then i'm going to do the same thing you know what i'm just going to rotate this in a little bit i find this brim maybe a little long so we're just going to bring it in a little bit maybe bring this more on a point I should have like done a better drawing first, but that's okay. And then this one, I'm going to bend down, keep my hands in here, bend it down. And this is a rough prototype, so probably my second version will be better, but that's okay. So we're gonna bend that one down and now bend it up to the front again. So let's go ahead and bend that one up. Uh, we'll just get it kind of down here and up. Try to get it in the same position as that one. So we're gonna bend it up there. And then this, I find it a little bit too curved. So let's just fix these up a bit. You can always do like little adjustments and stuff and bring this one around here. I'm gonna bring this one out around a little more, make it maybe a little bit more pointy there. You can just fix that up a little bit. And if I miss your comments, I'm gonna go back and have a look. Sometimes when I'm sort of in the middle of something, it's easier just to finish it up and then check the comments after but uh, I'll get back and check the comments too. So there we go. So let's get this done. We're gonna get around. So that's kind of interesting. We're just gonna do like this. And I mean, if it doesn't work, it's fine. We're just gonna do the best with it. Uh, and cool, thank you. And Etsy Simply Val, hi Val. So there we go. So what are we making? We're making a witch's hat. So, <clears throat> sorry, here's the, um, Here's the prototype, that's the sketch I did last week. And I'm just playing around with doing a little bit of dimensionality and we're going to do a colored band on there. So now we wanna bend this over a bit so it looks like it's flopping, flopping over a little bit. So we're just gonna kind of bend it down. You don't have to, you could put it straight up if you want, but I think it looks cute when it's kind of flopped down like that. And then we're gonna bend this one back like that. We could have maybe even made it more floppy. Maybe I'll just make it a little bit more floppy. So let's just go down a little bit more. Okay, up here. And good, to, good afternoon from Kansas. Nice, sunny here too in Montreal. Yeah, so there we go. We're gonna bring this one up here. Uh, bring this one around. Okay, it's good if it has a little bit of like warbly sides to it too, because you don't want it like too perfect. So make it a little bit warbly if you can. And then we're just going to bend this up straight up at the top. So let me just adjust this a bit, bring, bend it straight up. And let's bring this one to the front. So there we have sort of a basic, this looks a little bit like a banana, but let's try to fix this one up a little bit. Pinch that a bit. There we go. And we're gonna go in here. Oh, we have two Cathy's, Kathy Marshall and Kathy. Fun, awesome. So now let's bring this one in here. So that looks pretty good. And um, let me just bring this one around. Make sure these are like around the right position. And I I will do some um, templates for these after, uh, after I'm done. There was uh, a few things I wanna make templates for. I have some Halloween templates left from last year. And uh, I'll link up all the Halloween videos in the description of the um, of this uh, of the replay of the of the uh, live stream, 
and we have a few things that from last year and then uh, we did a let's get wired last year where everybody was working together which was super fun you can see that in discord maybe um mustafa you can share the link to discord if anybody wants to share their work on discord and participate in challenges there uh, we do a lot of fun stuff there it's it's been on hold a little bit the discord well live wires for the win was on but uh, we'll be getting back to that after the finale which is tomorrow so now i'm just going to do a little loop so we have something to hang it on just bring it around here and then we'll clip it and we are going to pinch it in place so i'm not sure was that mimi was that you that came in Okay, uh, the, there's a Jean Coutu order of photos that is ready. I don't know if it's yours or mine, but if you want to drop by and see. Perfect. Yeah, so that's Mimi. She just came in from a photo shoot, and we both have photos pending at the local pharmacy, so we'll see how that goes. So this is super cute, guys. So now, do we do the band first or the... Um, or the uh, beads first. I'm just gonna cut a little piece of this. This will be for the band. And join the Discord group, thank you so much. Uh, final episode, the Rhymer on for the final. Oh, thank you, Mustafa, wow, you are just so organized. I appreciate that. So this is the idea, there'll be a band there. I'm gonna color it, but I wanna bring it a little next level and I wanna make an, uh, a uh, buckle on it. So for the buckle, I was thinking to use 16 gauge wire. This is where we uh, experiment and possibly go off the rails. Have a sip of water too, because I'm going to try to flatten the buckle. We're going to see what we could do with that. So let's get some wire, 16 gauge wire. I'll cut about, I don't know, three pieces, uh, inches. And then I am going to get my needle nose pliers. And first I'm going to bend it at a right angle there. Now for the buckle, what I was thinking was to do something where it goes over a little bit like that. And we're going to hammer it so it will get like pushed like bigger a little bit too. So let's maybe make a big-ish buckle. We could always remake it if it doesn't work. That's fine. So this would be the idea to do a kind of a buckle like this. And if you want to make it a little bit square, it doesn't even have to be perfectly square. Uh, this, I really don't know if this is going to work, guys. This is just a complete experiment. But what I'm thinking is we have the buckle, something like that, but then we want to do a line up the middle. So we're going to take this and push this one up, just straight up like that. Okay. And then this one too, we're going to want to, this is where I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to bend this here. And maybe a little bit more. Okay, so the idea would be like this goes in there and there and it would make a buckle. So now what do we do with that bit? That's the question. Do I blend, bend it up? Do I leave it? Um, I'm going to maybe just leave it for this one and then we're going to see how it goes. And maybe for the ring, when I do the, the belt ring, we might make it a little bit different so it's more secure. So let's just start by clipping this one here. Okay, we'll just clip it and then this one too we are going to clip this one here and it makes a little makeshift buckle and then this is where we make some noise i know there's one person in the group that likes the hammering noise and i forget who it is so now we're going to hammer that a little bit flat so i have my hammer this is the beetle on one i think i'm going to get a more heavy duty one this one is a little bit of a lightweight but we're going to we're going to see what we can do with that and then we're just going to hammer it. Watch your ears. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit. Yeah, I don't think we need it that hammered. Okay, we're gonna just do it like that. So that's our pseudo buckle. And I think rather than trying to paint this first, I'm gonna put it in there first because otherwise it's going to be really, um, it's going to be really, uh, it's going to get scratched. So let me just, hopefully this will be a good size. And let me get the round pliers. Uh, here we go. So the round pliers, move this over, and we're just going to kind of bend it in half. So let's just take this, bend it in half, a little bit like that. Okay, let's just bend it. 
I don't know how much. I guess it should be a pretty sharp bend to be able to go around that middle bit. So there's our, we've bent it a little bit. And now you guys are on like the uh, front, not, I don't know, how do you say that? Uh, the front, not the front lines, but you're like the first people to see this new design because I never thought about doing it before. But then when I thought about doing the hat, I thought it'd be cool to do like a little buckle. So now this may be, the buckle is too big now because look, it looks like it's a little bit big. So no problem. Let's do another one. Okay, let's do a little another one quick, quick. And um, let's just cut that one here. And it's just when you hammer it, it gets a little bit big. So let's try another one. Hi, Connie. It's okay. We were a little late because my software didn't work for the live stream. I was trying to do a new a new software and it didn't really work so uh, so that's okay you're not really that late so now let's measure it a little bit smaller maybe to like the width of that or something and then it should be a little bit better because it was really too wide like if that just barely fits in there that's good and then bend this one okay we're gonna bend this one and then I'll, I'll use the other one for something else at some point. So, and then we're going to bend this one across here. Okay. And maybe a little bit more. And then this one straight up. So now we know how to do it at least. So it shouldn't be too bad. So this one will go straight up. It's not perfectly centered, but it's not too bad. So we can take our round pliers if we need. So now let's clip it again. Hi, Rita. How are you? So now we are going to clip that one. I'm just watching a little squirrel out my window looking for nuts, I guess. There we go. So I, I am working on this too, don't worry. I'm not totally distracted by the squirrel. So there is the uh, buckle again. So let's try this and hope it's not too small this time. Okay, so watch your ears and we're going to go. And the other side. This one might be too tight now. Okay, so there's that. And we might spend a whole hour just making this silly buckle. So let's just see. We're going to bring that one in here, that one in here. Bend it up a little bit more. Okay, and then now we want it to go on here. So let's see if this is a good size. Uh, squirrel, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, shiny objects and squirrels. There we go. So let's get this one in here. And, um, mm, oh, it's gonna barely fit. So there we go. So we're gonna stick, there's the buckle. Oh, it's super cute. So now let's see what we can do with that um, without totally destroying the buckle. So the idea is you wanna hold this in place. Maybe if we put it straight down on the table and split it. So we're just gonna split this apart. There we go, split it apart, there. So then, voila, look guys, it's a buckle. That is the cutest thing ever. So now, let's try to pinch it in a little bit. It got a little bit spread, and there we go. So let's just push this one in a little bit. Wow, I love that. I almost don't wanna color it, but I want it to show up nicely on the hat. So um, I think I will try to color it. And then we're going to add some beads to the hat as well. So we have a couple of choices. I really don't want to ruin this. But this is our um, colors that we had. So we had the pink. I thought purple for a, a witch, but I don't know what you guys think. I have this, which was the Sharpie. It's a lighter purple. I have this. Oh, I have to bring it closer. I have this one, which is like a hot pink, which is the... Um, which is the uh, ink and then the purple, but the purple might be a little dark. That's my only worry. So I don't know what you guys think of that. That's so cute. Thank you, Angela. Hello, hello. So why don't we start putting beads on? I'm gonna just like procrastinate that and start putting beads on the hat. So I've got um, 28 gauge wire of the artistic wire. Uh, I was gonna use 24, but 24 is a little stiff. So I think this is gonna be better. Uh, let's do the amazing ideas thank you mustafa i just love design you know i um i could have been a product designer because i love designing new gadgets and and objects and stuff but uh, i can't see myself working for a company doing something like that i like doing my own thing so uh 
So this is a great opportunity to, uh, to be able to design and just uh, do my own thing. So now I'm gonna just, I'm just clearing the table a bit because I have to get some uh, beads. So I have my trusty Allison beads. She has had so many amazing beads in her tickle trunk. And every time I need some beads, I just go to Allison's tickle trunk and get these beautiful beads. So now I've got, and she organized them so well in, in categories of color. So these are, this is her tray of black beads. So she would have loved this project because uh, she loved Halloween. So let's go ahead and add our beads. Hi, Catherine and Ginger. Hi, Ginger, how you doing? So I am going to get some beads have a sip of water. We're going to start at the top with some really tiny beads. So let me just get this and let's start up top, get some tiny beads. I'm going to put in, just start the wire here and wind it around a couple of times. There we go. And uh, yesterday I was teaching again at the Viva Vida Art Gallery, which was super fun. Um, this week, last week I taught jewelry making and this week I'm teaching watercolor. So I'm going to take some pictures from the workshop and post them on my art channel. But uh, yeah, we do, a, we do um, like a little sampler of watercolor techniques and then everybody makes their own finished pieces. And as always, people come up with the most beautiful, beautiful things. And I adore teaching in person. It's just so much fun. Everybody's so appreciative and, and um, inspirational. Hi, Janelle. How you doing? Nice. Awesome. So there we go. Let's add this one. Oh, there's one of my hairs. I'm losing my hair. There we go. So now let's add a little. Is this the littlest bead I have? I think this is the littlest bead I have. So we're going to start with a black bead there. And then I do want to wind it in place so it doesn't come out. So let's just do this. Uh, sweet craft. Okay, make something, uh, make one of something, but don't want to repeat. Yes, yeah, it's really fun making one of a kind pieces for sure. It's uh, it's the um, it's the uh, the joy of working at like the challenge of working out the design, and then after that, it's just like oh, I'll move on to something else. So there we go. So we're gonna do this, and let's get another. I'm just looking at my beads here because I have a lot of fun little beads here. I just have to find some that are gonna be the right size. So we're gonna do that. This one's a little bigger. I'm gonna stick with the black beads to keep it all somewhat consistent. And let me get these ones out of the way. And let's just go ahead and start. I think I'll just start winding these around. I'm not gonna to be too picky about the wraps. So I'm just gonna like keep winding these around and getting bigger as I go. And then, I mean, I could have made the hat much bigger and then um, and then use a lot of bigger beads, but I'm just gonna, I just wanna work out the design. So there we go. So we're gonna go in here, keep winding them around. And now we could get a bigger bead. Do I have any bigger round beads? I'm gonna have to see what I have here. Uh, yep, this one looks pretty good. Oh, you see my hair in the screen. I'll just pull back a little bit. My hair is actually wet. It takes my hair about five hours to dry because it's so thick. It's ridiculously thick. So this is a big bead. I don't know if that's a good bead or not. Oh, it's fine. Let's just do that. So we're going to do that one. I'm going to wind it around the top and then we're going to go in this way and then just keep adding beads. So if I run out of wire, no big deal. I will just add more wire and then let's go ahead and get some more beads in there. So I'm going to just put some random ones. There we go, and let me move some of this stuff. I have some fun ones. This isn't like a little faceted bead. I like using a variety of uh, shapes and textures. It just makes it look more interesting. And I do have some other tutorials where I make shapes like animals, like cats and, and dogs and different things, and then just fill them in with beads. And it would be really cute to do something like this, a black cat filled with beads. And I do have a template from last year uh, that we could use to do a black cat as well. That would be super cute. So maybe we should do another Let's Get Wired uh, Halloween. I mean, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. And we could do something maybe this weekend for like a Let's Get Wired um, a live stream thing. So yeah, you guys, you guys let me know if anybody's interested and um, and we could do like a one hour live where we where we um, 
you guys can share things on Discord. And let me know the best time because I know, Mustafa, you're in a different time zone and I really would like to do something where you're available because uh, sadly you're missing the live wires for the win uh, lives because it's not a good time for you. So I definitely want to include you, Mustafa. I know you participate in those so you can let me know um, what's a good time for you. So let's just keep going and we're going to go through here. And just keep going. Oh, now see that one's too big. So let me just skip that one. Let's go in here and just, I'm just gonna go ahead. And if you want to just wind it around the edge as well, it's a good idea. And then it makes it more secure. So we're just gonna wind it around. And when we get down to the belt area, I think I'll go ahead and add the belt. So let's just get these ones in here, put some more beads, uh, maybe put a the, another faceted bead. I like that one. And we're just going to keep going with that. So free Saturday. Okay, so yeah, let me know you guys when your availabilities, your times, and your, uh, your, your preferred days and times would be great. And I mean, it doesn't have to be a weekend. It could be another day too. So I should maybe do a poll or something to find out when what's good for everybody. So multitasking, oh yeah, multitasking is uh, the norm these days. You know, everybody multitasks these days. It's uh, it's sometimes a good thing and sometimes not a good thing, depending, like I tend to make a lot of mistakes when I multitask. So I try to not do too much of that, but, um, but it's very hard. It's very hard not to. So if you change your mind with a B, just take it back. Um, my niece, uh, Emily, actually teaches a course um, about mindfulness, which is all about not multitasking. It's all about like focusing on what you're doing at the time. And it's a really beautiful course. She does an online course where she, she has all kinds of amazing exercises. And it's great for, you know, creative people that get like so wrapped up in their projects and stuff because it's a good way just to step back and um, they see things from a different perspective. So I'm all about like any kinds of exercises and therapies that can help us to stay more grounded and uh, and then, you know, g gives us like energy to be more inspired other times, but just to focus on slowing down and, and uh, letting your brain process all kinds of stimulus. So here is our hat so far. That's cute. I think I'll leave the wire here. And now I'm going to try to attach the belt. But I do want to paint it because the belt would go here. Oh, my God. This is adorable. Um, so let's see what we can do here. And uh, are you making the witch's hat? Yes. So now we just have to figure out how to attach this without getting it completely distorted. So let us get our round pliers and start to bend it a little bit back. It's a little tricky to get a nice bend on there. This is going to be an awesome ring, guys. I cannot wait to make that. And now we're going to just push this one back and see if it's a good, a good amount, maybe a little bit more. And so we'll bring this one in a little bit more. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to attach it. So let's see what we can do with that. You know what I could do is just even bend this out a bit. Okay, we're going to bend that one out a bit and bend that one out a bit just so I can access it a little better. This is getting in the way a bit, but that's that should be fine. And then what we would do is just take this one and this one, if we can get it in there, let's push it in there. And then, like, that's supposed to sit in there and there. So let's see if we can get that to actually stay and not get completely distorted. So if we pull this one down here, we have to put the beads up a little bit. I might struggle with this a little bit, but I think we can do it. So we're going to bend that one down and then bend this one down. Yeah, see, they're not too bad. They're going in. I might have to trim those a little bit more because it looks like they're a little tight together. So let's get these and just give it a little bit of a trim. Okay. And see if we push it in a little more. Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. So let's just do that. Maybe it could have been a little bit. This could have been a little wider at the bottom, but it should be fine. And then we're going to bend these wires back. 
Okay, we're gonna bend these ones back a little bit. It is a little wide, but I think it's fine. I think it's gonna be fine. And then now, I mean, you could push it in a little bit more. Let me just see how much, is it, is it even on both sides? It's pretty even on both sides. So I could always take like a titch more there. And then we can maybe bring this one in a little bit more. I think if we just take this, bring it up and pull it in a little bit, it might be better, but it's just, I'm just being finicky, it's fine. So now what we're gonna do is let's do the rest of the beads and then we're gonna try to color the, um, the hats. So now, I mean the, the bands. So now what we're gonna do is take this wire and, <clears throat> excuse me while I clear my throat. Uh, Marion, I'm retired and times are good for me, yay. Awesome, oh, thank you so much, Marion, that's fun. I don't know if I'm ever gonna retire. I don't know if I can because I don't really have a regular income and a pension, so I might be doing this until I'm 103, but that's okay, as long as my hands work, it's fine. So now, let's go ahead and add some beads on here. And there we go. So we're just gonna keep adding some beads. And how do I wanna do this? I guess maybe I'll just go up and, like back and forth, up and down, up and down. That might be an easier way to do it. So let's just make sure we have some good beads here. Here's like a more flat one. And uh, there's another one. I have a lot of black seed beads. So these are useful and oh, a little bit of wire, and we can just stick this one. Maybe I'll get a little or bead in there. So I have some teeny tiny ones in here as well. I sort of have a mix. I took some from my original tray of beads that I used to have, like that I used to bring everywhere. This one's like not working either. And, um, and then I have Allison's beads as well. So I have a nice little mix in here, and some of these are so tiny, but... Um, that's okay, and some of them aren't quite black, so maybe I'll just stick with the black beads and go from there. Oh, here's some little really tiny ones. I'm not sure what these are. This might be too tiny, let's try that. Yeah, it's really nice to have little mix, like little pots of mixed beads with different colors. That one's a little odd. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just go with a slightly bigger one, and then, um, I'm gonna bring a bunch of these out so I can see what size they are because sometimes you can't see how wide they are until you pull them out of the pots. So hi, Paula, nice to see you. Yeah, so there we go. Let's just bring this one around and keep, oh, we should do Amber's trick where you push the wire through this way so it doesn't kink. I love that trick, Amber, you saw, and I, I forget the name of the person that did that tutorial. If you wanna shout her out, I forget who it was, but somebody had a trick where you're weaving and you push the wire through with your, with your um, like just push it through with your, with your uh, thumb. But I mean, you could do it. This wire is pretty forgiving. It's pretty thin. So, but look, it kinks, right? So it kinks. So you're better to do it the Amber's way. And um, CSL, uh, CSL Designs, thank you. If I could find that video again, I will link it up. But that's, I thought that was a brilliant tip to, to do that, to push it through with your finger. I would have never like thought about that. So I think that's cool. And so now we are going to... Uh, we are retired as of July 1st. Woo, that's awesome. Christina Larson, cool, very nice. So now uh, this one, I should going to remove that one and put this one and in here and maybe another little bead in there. So we're just gonna get another little one. Yeah, when the, when the piece is small like this, it's sometimes hard to find like a good variety of beads that are gonna fit well. So you're just gonna have to like get a pot of beads that are, um, that are like all one color if you wanna do the black hat and then just kind of get a variety of sizes. So it's, you have a little bit of options with what to do with them. So now let's get another one in there. It doesn't have to be too big. I seem to have like two sizes of beads and not enough, not a lot in between. This one's a matte color, but it could be all right. Let's see. I don't know. No, I don't love the matte one. So let's remove that one and get a bigger one and put it in here and get that one going. Yeah, that's perfect. I think I'm not gonna, oh, maybe a little one before that. Yeah, uh, almost perfect. So now let's put a little one 
and then the big one. This is the part that taste, takes the most time. And you, I'm actually just procrastinating because I don't want to deal with that coloring that band, but I will, I will do it soon. So let's push this one through. And then rather than cut the wire, I can just like go back through these and just weave it in behind. That's fine. So we're just going to go around here, push it to the back so you can't see it and then bring it over here. Now, this is the question. How am I going to do this? Maybe I'll just go across because I can't, I can't wind it into the hat itself, into the band itself. So I'm just going to wind it around one of these beads. Okay. Just wind it around. So it gets like a little higher up there and then I'm going to put a bunch of beads straight across the bottom I think that's going to be the easiest thing is just put a bunch of them straight across the bottom so let's get some uh, maybe some roundish beads and some other maybe the even the faceted beads I'm going to see which ones are good and we're going to put these ones across so I'm homeschooled so my schedule varies from day to day cool so there we go and my niece actually homeschools her daughters and uh, she lives in a small town and just decided that was like the best option for her. So, and she's an amazing teacher and her mom ran a daycare for um, 20 years. So she is very familiar with, uh, you know, uh, homeschooling and teaching at home and stuff. So very, very cool. A lot of benefits to that. So now we're going to just go across here and then actually, I think rather than, let me just, wind it in place here first and I'm just going to bring it around here and then add some beads another way so round here and up here and then let's start putting some other beads up and down so there we go hi Janet I uh, love your videos oh thank you and you are very welcome I love making the videos they're so much fun and uh, it's just I love these live streams too you guys have such great feedback and ideas. So now let us just keep adding these beads on here, work our way up and maybe, yeah, I think we're okay with that. So let's do that. We're, we might even have enough wire. I might not have to add any wire at all. I thought I would have to, but I think I'm going to be okay. So let's just keep adding our beads. I really like those faceted ones. Oh, I've already put one in there, so I don't have to put another one. And I'm just going to keep putting some of these little seed beads and stuff. And uh, maybe here, I have another one. I'm going to do the flat one first. The hat is incredible. Thank you, Amber. I am excited. I Because um, I drew it out last week and I wanted to put the beads in it. And then I had the idea for the flattened uh, buckle uh, sort of after the fact. So I think I think it's going to work well. It's a great idea for like new possibilities for rings and stuff. And then now let us just get our last couple of beads and we're going to be good. I think maybe if I could find another faceted bead it would be great. And now I forget what section I found the faceted beads in. This one's a little weird. That's like a stone or something. Um, but uh, but uh, of course when I want one, I'm not going to be able to find it. So I could just maybe stick with regular, regular beads in here. Oh, this one's faceted. That's cool. It's a little bit different than the other ones. Uh, the band the way it is, eh? Oh, now this is going to be a big decision. Do I color the band or do I leave it like that? Oh boy. Okay, guys, maybe I'll just leave the band. Oh, we might have to take a vote on that because it didn't occur to me to leave the band without coloring it because I thought it would be cute in, um, I thought it would be really cute purple, but the hat looks great. The belt gives it a finishing look. So I love the hat. So guys, do I color the hat? Do I color the band or do I just leave it? I really wanted to do a pop of color. Um, I'll bring the, I'll bring the colored band over to show you, like to compare it. And then we can see, because I think once it's colored, I don't know if I could remove the color. That's the problem. So there we go. We're going to bring this one around. And I'm going to clip this, clip this one here at the back. Make sure I can see it without clipping through the other wires. And we can just push that end in. Oh, you're using your mom's phone. Okay, no worries. So now there is... Wow, that is super fun. So there's the hat. 
I'm gonna just put my beads away while you guys help me decide whether you want the colors or not. These were the colors uh, that I was thinking to color the band with. And um, we just have to decide whether we wanna do it because I mean, I don't mind to ruin it if it does get ruined. I don't think it will get ruined, but uh, leave pops more. Hmm, not quite sure about that without the color. Hmm. Jackie says, leave it. Silver, to be honest. Great. Okay, so should we just leave it as as is? We don't need the we don't need the color. You guys, you guys can decide. Maybe better to leave it, eh? Trisha's Pink Poodle Studio. Hello, hello. Pink Poodle, I'm fascinated. You like the silver, eh? So maybe we'll leave it silver. Uh, if I do another one, I could, or you know what I could do? I could even like put it in Photoshop and Photoshop purple on there. And then you guys can have a different option to, to know what would look good. Because like, just for example, say we take this. So if I take the pink one, for example, because it's always good to know, uh, colors would make it not go with many outfits. There's that too. Very practical, uh, Ginger. You're right about that. So now, say just to show you what it might look like if we put the uh, pink on there. So let's bring it in there. Bring that one right in here. Up you go. See, it's going to get a little scratch, but the idea would be you would you would color it before after you after you install it because you wouldn't want to scratch it as your as your um as you're bending wire. So, so this, we'll do it as we did before. We're just gonna bend it across. I bet you could probably buy flat wire or colored flat wire too. I hadn't thought about that. So yeah, so this is a sort of a somewhat idea of what it would look like with pink. So that would be the, that would be the pink like that. Yeah, maybe not, eh? What do you think? It's a little, a little much, maybe not. So orange would look cool. Ooh, Mustafa, so many decisions. Orange would be cool too, you're right. So that would be like the the pink. And then if it was purple, I think the I think the purple's dark. That's the problem. I find the purple a little bit dark. Although it's pretty, I think it's dark. And Trisha likes the colors. So especially the pink one, because it's in your username. But I really I'm very torn. I like it both ways and um but I don't know I find the purple a little bit dark but it's kind of interesting so let's just bring this here let's just I don't know if this is going to help if we I'm going to cut this one and see yeah see if you do the purple up there it's really dark it's very hard to see you'd have to have a very light purple I think and then here's the pink so you guys decide if you make one and you want to put color, you could totally you could totally do it. I do like both ways. I honestly do. I think they're both really uh, interesting, and I I kind of like the the pop of color. So I might I might do it. I don't know. Let Let's do the ring, and then we're gonna decide about that. So for the ring, let's just cut some flat wire, and then we're going to go ahead and do the buckle again. So let's cut that. Green or orange? Yeah, I, I like the orange idea. I think that's a great idea. I think that would be cool. And uh, so let's go ahead and cut this one. And we're going to bend that one across. And then this one we're just going to measure. And we'll cut that one, do that one across. Hopefully it's not going to be too big. And then this one again. We're gonna put that one down, down there, and then just try to get it even. There we go. And then this one across here, and this one up here, perfect. So then this might end up being a little bit big too. So we're gonna see. Uh, pink is cute. I like the pink. Silver with sparkles. Ooh, there's another idea. Cool. Yeah, I might do the pink. I think it shows up well. Uh, that's the thing. I just, I really did want to do a pop of color. 
here. And um, in the worst case, I could always uh, remove it and re-put the silver one on too. So maybe I'll try the pink just so we know if it's going to work. And um, I'll just have to do that alcohol ink is very uh, finicky, but I'll try it and see if it's going to work. So here's, let's get our, our um, hammer again. So watch your ears. Okay, so now watch your ears and I'm gonna hammer this. Not too much though, okay. You can even make it more flat if you want. And bring this one in. And then we are going to get this guy. I just, oh, I remember what I was gonna do with this. Okay, I might need a longer piece, but so you're gonna get, I like this step mandrel. So let's get this one and bring it around. Okay, uh, wait, wait, I'm thinking, thinking, cause I wanted to, to overlap and go through, yeah, I can't double that. Oh, that's that was the problem, okay? I was thinking about what to do with that. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna play with this and take this one. Um, pink looks better. That's what I thought. The, the, the pop of color looks really nice. Um, I do have orange too. I could, actually I could get the orange and show you guys. Uh, we can feel, let's do that after. So I'm going to just put this on the, so this is the buckle. We're putting it on the ring here. And then we're just going to push it right down so it's flat on the table. And then we're just going to split it. So we're going to split it open. Maybe I made the buckle a little wide, but that's okay. So we're going to go here. And I guess you could even hammer it a bit more if you want. So there, so that's the idea of the buckle. And what I had thought, let me bring this one around because you can't really double it through. That was the problem. That was the, what I was thinking because if you double it through, it's not really going to work. But maybe what we could do is just bring it around like to the size that you want. Say, let's just bring this one up. So say it's about that size or something. Let's just cut this one. I'm just gonna cut this one here. And stick this one on here. This is really soft wire. You might actually need a thicker, like a, a more heavy duty wire to do this design because this is just aluminum. I don't know if it's gonna like hold its shape too much, but the idea would be like, you'd have something like that looks a little odd, but that's okay. Oh, you know what I was even thinking? Now this would be a uh, next level would be to poke holes and make it look like an actual belt. Now that would be interesting, but then you'd have to probably put something. I'm going to just get my hole punch just to see. Um, silver. Ah, okay. Yeah. You like silver. Okay. So let me just see. I do have this hole punch. It might or might not work. And so let's just take this, open it up a little bit, and then see if we can make little holes to look like the little holes of a uh, of a belt. And if it doesn't work, it's fine. So it's just a little hard to center these. And it's making a little bit of a strange ring around it, but that's okay. And then we could do maybe one more. And you may want to, like, because it like, see, they're not evenly spaced. So you might want to actually like uh, do the spots of it before you actually do the, do the holes. So, cause yeah, it would be fun to do them. I wonder if we could just remove this and just keep, let me just see if I could do this. It's, I don't mind to like bend it up a little bit and see, cause I think it would be cool. Let's just remove this in that way, we could just take it off like that. So what happens if we do a hole here in the middle? Okay. And then we do another one here because you want them sort of even. Okay, now what happens if we do a little, it's probably not gonna work, but we're gonna try like a little thing that goes in the belt buckle. Probably with 20 gauge wire. Let me just cut a little piece. 
There we go. So I've got some 20 gauge um, tarnished resistant brass. So let's try this. And Amanda, how are you doing? Amanda, we made a hat. Okay, we made a hat with the band and we're just deciding whether we want to color it because we might actually make it pink. The pink. We might color the band pink or orange. So we're just contemplating that to see what we're going to do. And lunch with a friend, that's awesome. And now we're gonna just cut this and I'm gonna try to do a little, a little buckle thing. This might be ridiculous, but we're gonna try. So Nina's back. So let's just bring this one around here. Okay, so if we wanna put this on here, uh, which way? Okay, it has to go, I guess, uh, this way maybe. And let's just uh, close this up maybe. So we're gonna put this on. This is just an exercise in seeing if something works because it might or might not work. So we're going to put this little doodad there. Let's close it up. And we'll just close that one up. And then we want to get it back on the ring thing. So maybe I should have put that on after. So if we do this and no, I am just trying to figure out how to do this. So let's put that after. This one would go this way. Okay, we're going to put this one on here, back on here. Hopefully you can hear, see my hands. Um, let's get it back on there, there, and then the idea would be this one would have to go up through here. Okay, that would have to go up through here and then along around here. So let's open this up a little bit. Okay, and then bring this one up here to latch it into the, I think this is not gonna be very practical as a ring because it's gonna dig into your finger, but it's just, the, it's just the concept right now. So we're just going to try to hook that onto here. See if we can get it in there. The wire is thick, so it might be a little tricky. So we're gonna get that one in here and then pinch it on. So let's pinch that one in here Okay, might work. And then the idea would be to bring this one back down here. And I think it's on in place pretty good. So let's close this one up again. Okay, this is, you might wanna hammer it or something. So we wanna like push this one down a bit. Yeah, to close it up a bit. It's getting really scratched up, but it's fine. So now the idea would be like this type of thing would have to would have to go, yeah, I think I, I attached it from the wrong way. So you know what I could maybe do is cut it off. Yeah, I think I should have done it from the other way. So let's just cut it off here, bring this one out and then go in from the other way. So we're gonna go through the other side of that wire, push it in here go through the other side and then this goes that way. And then this one, we want to bend over here, give it a little clip there. And sorry if I'm missing your comments. Music oh, good night. Okay, good night, Varesha. It's, uh, I guess it's late there. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I'm not sure where you are, but you're probably overseas. So if it's nighttime, so there we go. We're going to just do that. And then this is the buckle. So usually the, or the, um, the little, the little wire thing. So before I clip it, I think I'm just going to get it back on here. Okay. Just get it back on the ring form, bring it on here. And you might even want to like, I guess you might want to even tap it a little more to get it to hold in place. Uh, oh, see, this is not going to stay in place. That's the thing. This is going to be like super wobbly. And um, let me bring it in here. 
I think this bit is not necessary. I think this is just going to cause us a lot of trouble because it's not going to really hold in place. Uh, I was just curious to see if the design would work, but I'm wondering if we push this a little bit, maybe just try to pinch it up a little bit more. Uh, might or might not work. There we go, a little bit, okay. And, but will it still, it's still gonna be like a little, a little wobbly. So I think this thing is maybe optional because it looks like it's just gonna cause us a lot of trouble. So let's just remove it. If you guys can figure out a way to do that, uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be a little scratchy anyway. So let's just put this back one, this one back here. And yes, this one's a ring. Uh, it's just um, not going to work so well with the little hingy thing for the buckle, but it's fine. So now I just want to find my other pliers. It got really scratched up and distorted, but it's just the concept that I was interested to try. So we're just going to push this in place a little bit. And then this one would come around here and uh, yeah, this shouldn't be so wobbly, but because I played around with it so much, it, it is. But then this ring, this end of the ring can just come in there. This one you can clip to any size that you want. And then you can just like file. You can just file the end of this one because it's really, um, it's going to be a little bit sharp. But if you just get a, a regular file, you can file it up there. And we're just going to close this one up here. And then I'm going to get the paint and see if we can paint that buckle. So that's that's the idea of the ring. It's a little wobbly, but it's not not too bad. They put it through the hole, but then cut it. Yeah, no, I tried to put it in. The trouble is it's it doesn't like hold its shape. I guess maybe if you wound it around, you could. But I think for now, I'm just going to leave that one. I'm going to get my ink here and see what we can do with this. This is the this is the pink. I'm going to go get some orange and then we'll see what we can do with that. Actually, I don't think I have orange. I think I only have yellow and red. So I don't think those are gonna work, but I can try. I can just um, get a little scrap. And let me just get a little piece of plastic. Okay, so here's the a little piece of the metal. Maybe I should get a little bigger piece. We're gonna just try it. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you how this works with the with the um perfect. So let's do this. Let us take this one and put a little bit of the yellow. Oh, it's kind of orangey, but it's also a little a little yellowy and then it dries it'll dry a little bit differently so if we do this and just bring it down here so that's oh whoops so yeah that was not good so there's that one and then let's just try the uh orange one okay so this is the alcohol inks oh this is the one i have a tutorial on my channel because uh, you can use alcohol inks like this and make like really cool designs. So maybe I'll link up that tutorial as well. Uh, so now let's do, yes, these can be used on metal because it sticks really nicely. And then that's more like red. What's well, kind of orange, that one. And then let's try the pink. So we're going to just try this one. I'll just put it back upside down here and we'll try that side. So there is the pink, Josiane, bonjour. So now we are going to, this is the pink. I think the pink is maybe the nicest, most vibrant color. But my question now is how well can we get it on here without destroying 
the piece. So let's just do it. Let's just do it. And then if it doesn't work, Kate, okay, take a screenshot of this. So you know what it looks like before I put the color and oh, that's so awesome, uh, Amanda. Yeah, you do beautiful work with the, your with your inks and your paints and your drawing. So now let's go ahead and try to do this and hope we don't completely destroy it. So we'll just do a little drop there. Oh yeah, it just kind of goes underneath. Let's see if it's going to stick. Oh, it's kind of spreading to the other pieces, but we're gonna see. So we're gonna do this one here and then this one here. And if you have another way to color it, it's fine, but I think we're just gonna try it like this. It might kind of come off, but we're gonna see. So we're just gonna do that. Yeah, it's kind of like not sitting in place too well, but maybe I'll just try to clean up the gold part. Yeah, see, cause it's not flat, so it's kind of going all over the place. Let me get a little Q-tip or something to fix up that part that got uh, a little bit dirty. So I'm just gonna get a little toothpick or something. Okay, this is an exercise in letting go of things. So there we go. Uh, do you have alcohol inks? These are alcohol inks. Yeah, these ones are the alcohol inks. And I did try Indian ink and it doesn't work at all. So uh, yeah, the alcohol inks are the best. And I even thought about nail polish. Uh, you could even do uh, nail polish or enamel paints would be okay. But I'm just going to try to take off the extra with a little bit of... Kleenex. Let's just do like this and try to get the extra off. Minnie Mouse or Barbie as a witch. <laughs> That's cute. So let's see if we could just get it off the gold because I don't want it on the gold. And like I said, if I ruin it, I will just redo the band for the photo. But let's just try it because sometimes you don't know in case unless you try things. So let's just try to get it off the gold part. It's not too bad, but now it's coming off the silver part as well. So let's just uh, keep going with this and just try to get it off. And if it doesn't work, I will just rub it off the whole thing. Let's just take that one off. Yeah, I think it might, we might end up rubbing it off the whole thing, but Let's just give it a little bit of a chance and see what happens. So I'm going to get some paper towel because the Kleenex doesn't work super well. And... Uh, okay, so there we go. Wow, this is taking a long time for one, for one thing, but that's okay. So let's just go ahead and take this little piece. Yeah, look, it's leaking all over the all over the band. So maybe I should have colored it first. That might have been a better idea to color it first. So let's just clean up the whole thing. Okay, let's just scrap that whole thing. Nah, this is not going to work. Uh, yeah, so if you have colored flat wire, or if you have um, uh, a kind of paint that's going to stick better and not like rub off or run around the edges. If it had been flat, it would have stuck super well. But then the problem is when you go to put it together, uh, it's going to get scratched. So that's the issue. So let's remove that. Let's clean it up. And um, you could actually, even with the alcohol inks, clean it up with alcohol. So let me get some alcohol. Okay, there we go, getting my exercise. So we're gonna put this one here. Let's clean it up with some alcohol. Hopefully it's not too late. So we're just gonna pour some of that on there. That's just rubbing alcohol. Okay, perfect. So let's just do this and get it cleaned up. It's in the edges a little bit, but that's okay. We should be able to clean it up here. 
Ah, okay, so let's just pretend we never tried that. This will be our little secret. And if you guys can figure out a way to make it a nice color, that is perfect. So I'm just going to get another um, toothpick. Out you go. And try to clean this one up a little bit. Perfect. And let's make sure it's clean. These got pushed out of the way a little bit, so let's remove that. And then we'll have a look at what we made today. So guys, haha, -ha, fixed. Perfect. So there's the hat with a little bit of Kleenex in it. There we go. So there's the hat and there is the rings. This one's a bit of a mess, but I'm definitely gonna work on that idea. I'm gonna flip the screen and say goodbye. There we go. Woo, perfect. So that was fun. Thank you guys so much for hopping on the live stream. And uh, so here's the hat, which turned out really well. Um, I will try maybe to color, do another colored one at some point. And then this is the ring with like sort of a belt buckle which moderately worked, not super well. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Amber and Mustafa, for always moderating the chat. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow night for Live Wires for the Win, the finale at 7 o'clock Eastern Time on my channel. It's a pre-taped uh, show that I'll be airing, and we can chat in the, um, in the chat. Uh, both are great. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, come and, and watch that. And uh, yeah, that was super fun. Thank you guys for all your patience with that and, uh, and your great ideas and feedback. And uh, next week, I probably won't be having a live screen, uh, stream because I'm gonna be uh, taking a bit of a vacation, uh, but uh, we'll be back for the live streams the following week. And, um, and yeah, so we'll see you for Thursday, uh, Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern time for Live Wires for the win. And we can chat in the chat and we're gonna see who's gonna win the competition. So guys, have an amazing day, an amazing night. And uh, I'll post a picture of this in the Discord group and in the uh, Wiremakers Club as well. So bye everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.